Hi Rovers, hope you guys are all having a great Monday. I'm out here with my two beautiful assistants. They've been uh, working at home with me today. Here they are, they're Leela and Sugar. Sugar's down there. They've been having a great time. They're acting like a little bit of divas today, but we're gonna see if we can't get them to do some tricks. So I hope you guys enjoy all of our Pet Week content and I hope we all get to see each other soon. Thank you. It has come to my attention that Buster here doesn't have an emergency preparedness kit. Pack! What do we say about that? Failing, Failing to, to plan, plan is planning, planning to, to fail, fail, sir! Right? So what are we going to do about this? Help, Help Buster, Buster, sir! Right? Now get on it! Yes, yes sir! Okay, so we have the one week supply of food and fresh water. Medications. Buster needs his thyroid pills. We need copies of your vaccination and all other medical records. Information about your pet insurance policy, if you have one. And of course, you need those photos so your power rents can help identify you in case you get separated. Microchips help with that too. Jones, don't forget to add the expiration date of the food and meds on the label. Buster is now prepared. Are you? Now, where is Fluffy? She needs a kit too. Get on that. You heard the captain. Get on it. Link in the description for more information. Please share. Uh, my name is Juan Rodriguez, and I'm an animal keeper here at the Smithsonian's National Zoo. Oh. When I was a kid, I, I think the very first instance where I realized I loved animals was when my older brother would bring home injured pigeons and cats and dogs, stray animals. And I was just, I just fell in love with taking care of animals since I was like seven years old. Becoming a volunteer was sort of the first stepping stone in getting into the system as a full-time employee. And just basically the love of working with animals was, was the main reason how I, I got involved working at the National Zoo. It gave me the basics of understanding what, was, what my responsibilities were and what I needed to do to become a keeper. 
And after I was a volunteer for several months, I was able to get a job here. But in terms of formal training, I didn't have my degree when I first started back in 97. But as time went on, I eventually obtained my bachelor's of science degree in biology. Yeah, basically, on a day-to-day -day basis, the basic things that we do is we want to make sure the animals are, when we come in in the morning, they're well, they're not sick, everything's normal. So we, make, we get a head count of all of our animals that we're in charge of. And then at that point, if there are any animals that need any medication or any special treats in the morning, we'll give them their medications in the morning, and then we can continue through our day. And basically, after that, we're involved with many things such as research, behavioral watches, cleaning stalls, you got to do the dirty work too. And then also uh, the basic things of actually talking to the public so they'd learn more about what the sloth bears and all the other animals in Asia Trail are and learn what they can do about conservation. I think the favorite part of the job is when I'm actually talking to the public and they learn something new about an animal that I work with. And you can just see sort of like a light bulb flash in their head and they're actually like, wow, this is something really amazing. I've never knew this about this particular animal. And then the other second favorite thing is when they're actually, when the animals are actually enjoying the enrichment item we put in the yard for them. For example, the sloth bears, we can use uh, big boomer balls. We drill holes into them and we actually put their kibble into that, into the boomer ball and they'll roll it around for minutes to sometimes even hours to try to get the food out of the boomer balls to any, anything you can imagine. I think the best advice I have for kids is basically if you love the work of animals, always that just follow your passion, your, your, your desire to work with animals and everything. If you're really determined to do that, you always find a way to, to do what you're trying to accomplish. So if you'd like to learn more about the National Zoo and all the animals that are here, if you want to look at the live webcams, like the lion cub webcam, you can go to the www.nationalzoo.si.edu.